All right, with the, with the 42 struts, we have this bag that comes with it everywhere we go. This bag is loaded with different components of equipment that is absolutely necessary for the struts to work. So each strut has its own assigned ratchet strap. These ratchet straps have giant reinforced hooks on them to hook to the bottom of the strut and to the vehicles for attachment points. The way we have these struts or these straps set up will be in a way if you need for a quick deployment, you're gonna grab it by the handle, drop it down, it'll roll off. The other side hook. These, these ratchet straps have different locking mechanisms on it. For the people that are all familiar with this, you'll understand, but you need to pull that lock up to rotate it all the way out in a straight position. From here, as long as there's no twists or bends on the ratchet strap, the strap should slide through fairly freely to pull slack out and to make it tighten it up where you need attachments. When you have your slack out or the proper length of strap that you need, you will close it, you will break or unlock it again and break it in a way to get it off that straight angle. And from here, you'll ratchet it shut until it tightens the load up. Now, take note that with these ratchet straps, the hooked end that is closest to the ratchet or that is attached to the ratchet, this side, this needs to be the side that's attached to the strut. The free side, the side with the length of webbing, that has to go to the vehicle. When you need to unlock the ratchet strap, You'll break it, straighten out again, and you'll pull the second lock to unlock the, the bar that the strap actually slides on and pull it out to unlock it to get it back in that straight in line to get all your turns out. When you're tightening up a ratchet strap, I like to tell people to go two clicks past snug. So when you start to see the load or the weight of the strut capture the load, just one more click, and then one more click after that, that should be all you need to lock it in to tighten it up. Two clicks past the nug. Other components we have in Squad 16's strut bag, not necessarily the ones on 23 and 25, is we have an A-frame connection point for the tops of our struts. So these tips that are in the blue, the blue tube section of the struts has a pin lock. You push the pin in and the head will come off and then you will slide the A-frame attachment into two different struts, two strut heads. One this side, one that side. And then you can make yourself a lifting platform or some type of high point angle for whether you're doing a confined space drop or you're lifting a load, you have to lift it from the center and you need the weight held in that, in that configuration. Note to self, the reason why we have these on squad 16 is because it takes it takes an extensive amount of training because you got to do a bunch of safety tie backs and tie offs when you're using stuff like this and if you're not trained or know how to use it i wouldn't recommend pulling this out of the bag another attachment point we have on here is we have a screw yoke this is for a structural collapse or building collapse situation you do this the same way as you would have done that a-frame you'll push the pins on the struts pull this out slide this in place and then when it's in place, you put it under whatever load you're trying to capture it and you screw it into place, tighten it up. Once in, this is good because it's adjustable. It's more, it's more fine adjustable tuning than actual it's strut itself. So you can capture the load uh, a lot better. An underused piece of equipment we have in our strut bag is what we call the J-hook. J-hooks are great for vehicles on their side, especially when you have limited strut or limited access to use. You can toss this end over end, whether it's on the, pass the door side that's up on a vehicle on a side or even to the undercarriage. That can hook to multiple, it's very wide, so it can hook to multiple different points on the car. And you can wrap it back onto one of these hard rings with, the, um, with a chain or whatever it might be back to the strut and you can tighten up the load from there. If you notice, these are universal uh, tow hooks, tow locks. They fit into multiple different cutouts underneath the underside of the car for different attachment points. If any of you guys are out there on the street, and I'll show you here in a little bit what we're talking about, you'll see all these different notches cut out. That's for uh, tow truck drivers to hook things like this in there to secure their loads to their beds. We also can use them in vehicle electrification for stabilization with hooking chains and different pieces of equipment up. 
But that is, uh, that's the equipment haul for this bag.